What's good, YouTube? Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, Real Talk Boxing, and we're back at you again. Why y'all why y'all messing with Nate, man? Why y'all dogging Nate for getting knocked out? Um This this honestly is the kind of stuff that I don't like. I've been seeing a lot of videos of people who haven't strapped up. Talking about Nate should be ashamed of himself. He got knocked out by a YouTuber. He got knocked out by a guy who's not even a professional fighter. Uh, we thought Nate was going to do this. Nate was going to do that. Nate's trash. Yada, yada, yada. Well, I tell you what. Nate strapped up and he got in the ring. Yeah, he got knocked out. But he strapped up and he stepped foot in the ring. There's a lot more than I can say for a lot of you guys out there that's dogging Nate. You got to have nuts and guts to do this. Not just any Joe off the street is going to come in and knock a guy out who's been training. Who's had proper training for more than a year. It's levels to it. And there's things that go along with boxing. That you don't naturally have in you. If you haven't been taught that. Experience number one. To get into a ring in front of thousands of people on a big stage is scary. I don't care what no one says. You have professional fighters who've been fighting half their life. And they still get nervous. And sometimes afraid. They won't admit it. But sometimes they get scared. Getting into that ring. I commend Nate Robinson for getting in that ring. I don't care if he got knocked out or not. I commend him and I have respect for him for doing that because he called out Jay. So obviously I got to get in there and walk it like I talk it. That didn't happen. True boxing fans or people who know boxing knew that wasn't going to happen. But I'm not going to clown this dude for getting knocked out when he was man enough to step foot in the ring and do what he said he was going to do. I mean, I don't know what type of training Nate had. He could have had great training. He probably just didn't listen to his cornermen, his coaches. Because of the buildup, because of the lights, because of the nervous energy he had, man. Things change. And then when you get in there with a fighter and you feel how strong they are when you didn't think they were that strong. When they punch you and it hurts you. When whatever you're trying to do to them is not working, that's intimidating. That will shut your whole plan down. And that's what happened. And a lot of people think I'm being hard on Jake by saying I expect more from him. He should have adjusted quicker. Yeah, he adjusted. He got him out of there in the second round. And he dropped him in the first round. But I feel like the level that Nate Robinson was on, he should have been out of there in the first round. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. Maybe I am being too hard on Jake. Plus, Jake did suffer a, break, a broken nose two, three weeks prior to that fight. So that's kind of... You know, a little nerve wracking. You're not, you're not want to get hit in the nose, man. You're not want to get hit in the nose when it's been broken. So I can, I can understand that. So I may be being a little bit too hard on Jakey Poo, but nevertheless, I am impressed with how he handled himself. I just think he should have got it done a lot faster. Nate did a lot of things wrong, but one thing he didn't do wrong was being man enough to step into that ring. So for everybody out there clowning Nate Robinson, Saying how much he sucked by getting knocked out by a YouTuber that's not a professional fighter. Jake's been training two and a half, three years. So I want to see you average Joes coming off the street, getting there with him. No, no, no. Let, not even that. You average Joes out there who's talking crap about Nate. Go to your local gym if you have one. Train for three, four months and step in a ring with Jake. I can pretty much guarantee you the same thing will happen to you. While you up here clowning on Nate. Yeah, it was a bad knockout. Yeah, he didn't look good in the ring. Yeah, he didn't do what he said he was going to do. But one thing he did do was climb through those ropes and met Jake Paul in the middle of the ring. That's enough for me to give you my respect and my salute. So I'm not going to talk trash about Nate. Even though I told you guys what was going to happen, I'm not going to talk trash about Nate because he was man enough to get in the ring. I have not once seen, not yet, since last night, a positive video on Nate Robinson and him getting knocked out. 
He was man enough to do it. What about you? Everybody out there who's throwing hate and shade. You man enough to do it? You want to train three, four months and get in there with somebody who's been trained in two and a half, three years? Even though he's not professional and he's a YouTuber? I doubt you got the guts and I doubt you got the nuts. So to Nate Robinson, brother, I'm proud of you. You have my respect. Most of us knew what was going to happen. Hey, it happens. Now you know. As always, respect all, fear none. God bless. Till the next time, Real Talk Boxing, we out.